number 230. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Great ruler of all space and time, you give us daylight to employ in work for you that with the night refreshing sleep we may enjoy. While the silence and the darkness reign, preserve our souls from sin and harm. Let nothing evil venture near to cause us panic or alarm. And while we thus renew our strength, untouched by taint of sinful fire, let hearts and minds find rest in you, the source of every good desire. O Father, this we ask thee, Lord, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, whom with the Spirit we adore, one God who reigns forevermore. Amen. Blessed are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thou shall be blessed, the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem on Israel peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Put in your sickle, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. They have pressed the ark from my youth. This is Israel's song. They have pressed the ark from my youth, but could never destroy me. They plowed my back like plowmen, drawing long furrows. But the Lord, who is just, has destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers. With that no reaper fills his arms, no binder makes his sheaves. And those passing by will not say, On you the Lord's blessing. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Pull in your sickle, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? this all you peoples, give heed all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, my heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without death, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age. Though their name spread wide through the land, in his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the bees that are destroyed. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave. Where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his father who will never see the light anymore. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the bees that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, 
of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. From St. Paul's letter, to the Romans. The justice of God has been manifested apart from the law. Even though both law and prophets bear witness to it, that justice of God which works through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. All men have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. All men are now undeservedly justified by the gift of God through the redemption wrought in Christ Jesus. Through his blood, God made him the means of expiation for all who believe. He did so to manifest his own justice for the sake of remitting sins committed in the past, to manifest his justice in the present by way of forbearance, so that he might be just and might justify those who believe in Jesus. Cast down the mighty from their thrones, 
and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Sons out in Jesus, you see Jacob and Jacob, and I did. Quid bis faci antibi, domine ut videa, et Jesus I. Espice, fides tua te salvum feci, et confest him vidi, et seque batur ilde, magnificans Let us praise Christ, the shepherd and guardian of our souls, who loves and protects his people. Placing our hope in him, we cry out, Eternal shepherd, protect our bishop Samuel and all the shepherds of your church. Look kindly on those who suffer persecution. Hasten to free them from all adversity. Have mercy on the needy, Lord. Provide food for the hungry. Enlighten all legislators to enact laws in the spirit of wisdom and justice. Pray for Father Nathan, Father Francesco, for the CTO group meeting tonight, for all those who've asked for our prayers, especially for Deidre, for Kelly Millen, for Scott. those who are sick, for the family of Dave Yalvi. for a special intention. Come to the aid of our departed brothers and sisters, whom you have redeemed with your blood. Make them worthy to enter your wedding feast. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, yours is the morning and yours is the evening. Let the Son of Justice, Jesus Christ, shine forever in our hearts and draw us to that light where you live in radiant glory. 
We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of October the 31st. In the 3rd century, the death of Swain Quentin, a Roman citizen who at the price of his life carried the light of the gospel into northern Gaul. At a place where he was martyred, there stands today a town which bears his name and which has since become a center of popular pilgrimage. At Cahors, France, around 1272, Blessed Christopher, a Franciscan who was sent to France by St. Francis in order to spread the newly founded Order of Friars Minor. At Palma of Majoric in the Balearic Islands, St. Alphonsus Rodriguez, born at Segovia, Spain, around 1531. He had been a merchant, but after the death of his wife and sons, he entered the Society of Jesus. A simple lay brother, he exercised the duty of porter for nearly 40 years in faithful obedience and with great charity. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 